Kathy Ireland. I've been approached about doing a workout video several times throughout the years, but it never made sense to me because I didn't do that type of workout. I'd always gotten my exercise through recreational sports like hiking, biking, swimming, or surfing. Well, all that changed when I had my baby, an adorable little boy. I put on close to 40 pounds with my pregnancy, and because I was busy with my baby, I had no time for sports. I had a lot of important things coming up on my calendar, and I needed to lose the weight. I couldn't diet because I was nursing. I was in a bind. As a contributing editor for Fitness Magazine, I give advice on ESPN's body shaping. Well, now I needed some. I was introduced to Tim Green, a national aerobics champion who had designed a number of workouts. I was immediately impressed with Tim's lifelong commitment to fitness. He has degrees in physical education and recreational therapy, and he's worked extensively with disabled children. I chose Tim to help me put together a brand new type of exercise that would give me the results I needed. Well, after only 18 sessions with Tim, I'd lost the weight, which made me feel much more comfortable when I had to get back in front of the cameras for the VH1 honors. This exercise program that you're about to participate in is fun, safe, and most of all, it works. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you for being a part of my first exercise video shot here on location at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton in Rancho Mirage, California. Our workout consists of three different segments. We have total body conditioning, which uses body resistance. For that, we'll need a chair and a mat or a towel. We have a challenging abdominal and lower body segment. And our first segment is a 30-minute low-impact aerobic workout. Now, this is not a dance routine. We're all at different exercise levels. In fact, Karen told me that this is her first time working out. So for any of you who are beginners, don't feel that you have to keep up. Just try to keep moving. Walk in place if you have to. Don't worry about keeping the arms in sync. I just want you to move and have some fun. Okay? Yeah. You guys ready? Let's start yeah, with go. proper body positioning. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. Knees are relaxed. Buttocks is tucked under. Abdominals lifted. Chest is high. Shoulders are down and back. Back and relax. Good. Inhale as you raise your arms. Exhale as you lower them. Little plies. Inhale. Keeping the knees slightly bent. Good. Remember to breathe. Last time and hold it. Palms facing upward. Press up. Good. Now grab the hands behind the head. Feeling the stretch in the triceps. And up. And other side. Good. And inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up and hold it. Now gently pull the head to the side so that the ear falls to the shoulder, stretching the neck. And other side. And inhale up. Last time, hold it up. We're going to reach to the sides. And good. Really reach. Next, we're going to drop our arms shoulder level, twisting at the waist. And good. Just twisting from the waist. Next, we're going to drop our hands to our knees, rolling our shoulders forward. And Good. Roll the shoulders forward. Keep the abs pulled in. Next, we're going to add a lunge. And good. The knees come just over the feet. Good. How are you guys doing? All right. Good. And hold it. Other side. And pivot. Proper body positioning, buttocks tucked under, abs in, chest high, shoulders back and relaxed. We're going to lift our back heel, lift, 
and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Lift the heel, rolling onto the ball of the foot. Front leg is slightly bent. The weight is on the heel. Let's add the arms. Lift and lower. Good. Bring the arms up to the temples. Good. Drop the arms, bend the back knee in, and back. In and back. Good. Bend the knee, lifting the heel, rolling onto the ball of the foot. Good. Feel that? We're going to add a bicep curl and lift and lower. Good. Feel the resistance in your arms. Good. Drop the arms. Back foot comes behind the heel of the front foot. Sit back on the bent leg. Straighten the front leg by bringing your toe upward. Flatten the back by opening the chest. Feeling the stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. Good. And back to center. Walk it out. We're going to stretch our back. Lift two, lower two. Lift by pulling in the abs, lower by arching the back. Lift two, lower two. Good. Lower two, one more. We're going to roll the shoulders forward. And. Work it out, work it out. Good. Yeah. How you guys doing? Add a lunge and lunge. Good. And hold it. Another side. And pivot. Stand up straight. Proper body positioning. We're going to lift that back heel and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Let's add the arms. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Good. Arms come up to the temples. How you doing, Karen? Good. The arms come down. Let's bend that back leg in. In and out. Good. Lift the heel. Roll onto the ball of the foot. In and out. In and out. The front leg should be slightly bent, keeping the weight on your heel. Let's add a bicep curl and in and out. In and out. Good. If your ankles are bothering you, just stand in place and feel the stretch. Let's bring that back leg behind the heel of the front foot, sitting back on the back leg, stretching out the front leg by bringing the toe upward, flattening the back by opening the chest, feeling the stretch in the calves and the hamstrings. Feel it? Okay. And back to center. And lift those toes. Good. We're going to warm up the shins so we don't get shin splints. Really lift them up as high as you can get them. Good. Okay, slowly roll up and walk in place. Good. Now, if you have to stop for any reason at all, try not to stop completely, but come back to a walking in place position. Now, the first step that we're going to do is going to be four steps with a tap, beginning with our right foot. It's going to look like this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. You guys are good. One, two, three, four. Good. Now let's take this movement and go forward. And, and back. Again. Let's go to the side. Again. Back to center. Good. Now let's add arms. And. Now to, to, to decrease the intensity, just 
Keep the arms at your side. Don't worry about doing it if it's too much. Good. Now let's take it forward and forward. To the side. Work it out, work it out. Good. <laughs> if you're just beginning working out, remember you don't want to get that heart rate up too much in the beginning. So keep the hands at your side. Good, Karen. But for those of you who want more of a challenge, really reach. And back to center. All right. Good. The next step we're going to do, instead of tapping our foot, we're going to lift our knee to our waist. And one, two, three, knee up. Knee up. One, two, three, knee up. Good. Get that knee up to the waist. <laughs> you look like a rocket. <laughs> Let's take it forward. Again. To the side. Again. You guys are good. <laughs> Back to center. Now let's add the arms. We're going to do a bicep curl. And six, seven, eight. Good. Feel the resistance. Let's take it forward. To the side. And forward. Side. And forward. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> I'm sweating, you just can't see me. <laughs> Back to center. Good. The next step we're going to do is lift our knee three times. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Four, five. Good. Bring that knee up. Let's take it forward. And forward. To the side. Good, you guys are doing great. And forward again. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the side. And forward. To the side. And back to center. Good. Now we're going to add the arms. It's going to be a bicep curl and extend our forearms. And four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, you guys are catching on. Good. Let's take it forward and forward. To the side. And forward. To the side. Last time. <laughs> Except for Barrett, if she wants to do it more. <laughs> Back to center. Good. Now let's put it together from the top. 
first with no hands, walking forward and forward to the side. Knee up to the side. Three knees. <laughs> You just can't see it from there. <laughs> from the top with arms this time. And to the side. Knee up. Three knees. From the top again, with arms. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Three knees. And walk in place, good, walk it out. We're gonna check our heart rate. Take two fingers, find your temples, drop them down to your carotid artery, which is located on either side of your Adam's apple. When I say go, count. Ready, and go. Okay, stop. Now the number that you get, add a zero to it. Check yourself on the heart rate on the screen. Make sure that you're exercising at your proper heart rate level. If the number's too low, you might want to increase the intensity by adding more arm movement. If your number's too high, you're going to want to bring down the intensity by keeping the arms down, just working it more slowly. Good. Karen, how are you feeling? You've been doing great. This is your first workout. So you've been doing wonderful. Why don't you come back and join us for the stretching? You feel good? Great job, Karen. Thank you. These are exercises we've got to work up to. Good. Let's get back to our... I'm going to teach you a new step now. It's going to be a side step. Feet come together. Side step and touch and step, touch, step, touch. Step, touch. Good. Let's have the arms. Arms go out to our sides and bring them in as your leg goes in. Good. We're going to take it forward and forward. Forward again. Again. <laughs> Last time. Back to center. Good. Next step I'm going to teach you is called the grapevine. We're going to go through it slowly at first, then we'll bring it up to tempo. Starting with feet together, it's step behind, step together. Step behind, step together. Again, step behind, step together. Step behind, step together. Now with arms, step behind, step together. Step behind, step together. Step behind, step together. Step behind, step together. You got it? Okay, let's bring it up to tempo. Ready? And. Good. Oh, you guys are quick learners. Last time, and side step forward, and. Ooh, 
Grapevine. Grapevine again. Side step forward. Grapevine. Side step forward. Grapevine. Again. Side step forward. Feeling it? Grapevine. Back to center, side step. Good. The next step we're going to do, we're going to bring our heel to our buttocks, beginning with our arms out in front of us. As we kick our heel up, we're going to bring the arms into the waist. And. Good. Next, we're going to bring our toe up to our hands. And toes. And. Next, we're going to bring our knees up to our hands. And knees. Good. And heels in. Good. <laughs> and toes. Get those toes up. <laughs> And knees. And back to center, side step. Good. Now let's put the whole thing together. Starting with our side step forward. With arms and everything. And step. Grapevine. Right. Grapevine again. All right. Heels. <laughs> Toes. <laughs> I don't hear you. <laughs> Knees. And from the top, side step. Grapevine. Heels. Toes. Knees. Eight and walking in place. Good. Right, yeah. Let's get back on that four step count. Right. We're going to take it from the top, beginning with our four step tap. First time with no arms. <laughs> you guys are doing great. And one, two, three, touch. One, two, three, touch. Good. One, two, three, touch. Let's take it forward. And. To the side. Here we go. Knee up. Side. Three knees. To the side. Side step forward. Grapevine. Again. Heels. Toes. Knees. From the top this time with arms. And 
side. Knee up. Good. Three knees. Side. Side to side forward. Grapevine. Again. Heels to buttocks. Huh. 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 Toes. <laughs> You're doing great. And knees. One more time from the top. And to the side. Knee up. Three knees. Side step forward. Got the crickets out with us. Heels to buttocks. Toes. Knees. One more time from the top. And forward. To the side. Knee up. You only as much as you can do. Keep the arms on the waist if it's too much. Three knees. Side step forward. Great fine. Again, heels, toes, knees, we're going to take it one more time, you guys are doing such a good job, five, six from the top, and Side. This is the real last time. <laughs> Knee. Go, Kathy, go. <laughs> Three knees. Walk in place if you can't keep up. Again, peel, toes, knees, and walk it out. Good. Good job. Keep walking in place. Don't stop completely. It's important to keep moving until your heart rate comes back down to normal. Inhale up. Exhale down. Again. Again, inhale as you reach your arms up. Exhale down. Again, inhale. Last time, inhale up, exhale down, 
Arms at your side, keep walking in place, little steps. Good, you guys are great. We're gonna cool down a bit now. Feet come together, legs apart, hands on the knees, lift the back, lift two, lower two. Lift by pulling in the abs, lower by arching the back. Two, lower two, good. Lift two, lower two, lift two. Now we're gonna roll the shoulders forward, forward, good. Dig the heel into the ground. Pull in those abs. Good. And back to center. And other side. And stretch it out. Good job. Back to center. Inhale on the way up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down as you bring your legs together. Inhale up again. And exhale down. And good job. You guys did incredible. Right. Good job. Good job. Good job, Kathy. Good job, everyone. You did a great job. These guys were great. great you guys job. did so good. Welcome to TBC, that stands for Total Body Conditioning. For these exercises, you'll need a chair and a mat or a towel. Now, if you're new to exercising like Karen is, just maybe do three repetitions, definitely no more than five. I want you to take it easy until you work up to, to a higher exercise level. Okay, we're going to begin by doing some plies. We're going to be standing behind our chairs, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. The knees are relaxed, the buttocks is tucked under. The abs are lifted, the chest is high, the shoulders are back and relaxed. Gently place your hands on the chair and down and up, down and up. Good. Squeeze it on the way up. Good. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Remembering to keep the chest high. Good. Really squeeze it. You guys feel that? <laughs> Breathe. And hold it. Lift the right heel. And 20 more little presses. Good. Squeeze it. 10 more. How you doing? And hold it. We're going to do a little pelvis thrust. And forward and back. Forward and back. Good. It's a small controlled movement. Good. Exhale as your pelvis thrusts forward. And squeeze it. Really make it work. Five more. Twenty. And hold it. Good. Now pivot to the side. You're going to want to keep your front knee slightly bent. The weight is going to be on that front heel. The knee and the ankle should all be aligned. We're going to do lunges. And as we lunge down, our shoulder, hip, and knee of the back leg should all be aligned. It's one straight movement down. Ready? And down and up, down and up. Good. Whoa. Inhale down, 
Exhale as you come up. Down and up. Good. Down and up. You feel that? These are great for the hips and thighs. And hold it. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Good. Squeeze the buttocks. And back to center. Good job. Now we're going to do more plies. Ready. And down and up. Down and up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Remember to keep the abs in, the chest high. Five more. <laughs> One, and hold it. Now lift the left heel. Little presses and. One, two, good. Really squeeze it. Remember to breathe. How you guys doing? I hear you. <laughs> One, good, and hold it. We're going to do pelvis thrust and forward and back. Forward and back, good. Small controlled movement. Good, squeeze the buttocks. should be really concentrating on that front heel, the knee and the ankle should be aligned, and on the back leg, the shoulder, the hip and the knee should all be aligned as we lunge down, ready, and down and up, down and up, good, good, you guys look great, down and up, good, that knee was working. You want to make sure that you're standing up straight. Abs are in. And your chest is high. It's a nice controlled movement. Four, three, two, and hold it. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to center. You guys did great. Okay, let's go down to our mats. We're going to do push-ups. Okay, we're going to start by doing modified push-ups. You need to get on all fours with your weight evenly distributed. On your arms and legs, good. The hips are square. Good. You want to make sure that your shoulders, elbows, and wrists are all in alignment. And lower, inhale down, exhale up, and down and up. Good. <sighs> exhale as you come up. Five more. Make sure not to hyperextend or lock the elbows. One, and stretch it out. Good. All right. Okay, ready for another set? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Down, up. Exhale as you come up. Abs pulled in. And hold. 
hold it and stretch it out. <sighs> Good job. <laughs> okay, now for those of you who want a bit more of a challenge, we can bring our arms forward. Creating more of an angle for the body. The hips come forward. You want to make sure that you've got that, okay? Shoulders, elbows, and wrists all are in alignment. You want to make sure that you don't hyperextend or lock the elbows. Now, if these are too difficult, go back to the more modified version. Karen, how are you doing? Want to sit these out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? And down and up. Good. <sighs> And 10 and stretch it out. Good. These are especially difficult for me. So let's do another set because I want to strengthen my upper body. <laughs> okay, I need these. I'm sweating, believe me. Okay, hips come forward. Good, good, Barbara. Okay, ready and down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Exhale as you come up. And 10 and stretch it out. That's it, right? Good job. That's it for the push up. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now we're going to do chair sit. You need to have a chair. Standing in front of your chair, you're going to want your legs to be about shoulder width apart. The toes are pointing straight ahead. The buttocks is tucked under. The abs are lifted. The chest is high. The shoulders are back and relaxed. You should be standing about half a foot in front of your chair. We're going to do something we do every day, which is sitting down, but with a bit of a twist. Hands are on the knees for support. I'm going to sit down and stand up. Ready, and sit down and up. Down and up. Good. Up, down, and up. It's a nice controlled movement. You want to make sure that you don't sit down too hard. You don't want the chair to slide out from underneath you. Your chair should be on a good, solid surface. Good. You should really be feeling these on the thighs and the buttocks. And squeeze it as you come up. challenge. Arms come out in front of you. Ready, and down, and up. And down, and up. Squeeze the buttocks, and up. Good. How you doing, Barrett? Good. That looks good. How you feeling, Karen? Good. And up, straight down, and up. Good, Charlie. Good, Ivy. The hands come behind the head. The hips are tucked under. The abs are lifted. The chest is high. Shoulders are back and relaxed. 
hands are by, behind the head only for support. We're gonna lift, do our chest, bringing our shoulders up towards our knees. Ready, and lift and lower. Lift and lower, good. You wanna make sure that you relax the neck and the head. Good. It doesn't have to be a huge movement. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you go down. Four, three, two, and one. And lie back down, bring the knees into your chest, grabbing underneath the knees. Good. Okay, and let's do another set. All right. Ready? That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay. And lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Keeping the chin off of the chest. Keep those abs lifted. Remembering to breathe. Exhale as you come up. How you guys doing? Four, three, two, and one. Good, lie back down, pull the knees into the chest, grabbing underneath the knees. Good. Now you'll need to push your chair away from your mat. Good job, we're gonna stretch it out. Lying on your mat, the legs should be stretched out in one direction, the arms go over the head, stretching in the other direction. Good, really feel the stretch. Pull your body in a different direction. And breathe. Now pull your knees into your chest, grabbing underneath the knees, and extend the right leg, pulling the left knee into the chest. The right leg goes down to the ground, toe is pointed. With your right hand, gently pull your left knee over to the side. Good. Your left arm goes out to the side. The palm is flat on the ground, and turn your head towards the extended arm, feeling the stretch. Back to center, bring the knees up. Good. Now extend the left leg, toe is pointed, leg comes down to the ground. With your left hand, gently pull the right leg across the body. The right arm goes out to the right side, palm is on the ground. Turn your head towards your extended arm. Straighten them, arms above the head. Now we're gonna roll onto our right side, pushing ourselves up into a sitting position. Good. The legs are extended out in front of us. Hips are tucked under, the abs are in. Chest is high, shoulders are back and relaxed. We're gonna reach forward for our knees, calves or ankles. Reach forward and as you do so, Flatten the back by opening the chest. Feel the stretch. Good. Now inhale as you raise your arms above your head. Exhale as you lower them. Again, inhale as you raise your arms. And hold it and press the palms up towards the sky. Now gently pull the arms behind your head, feeling the stretch in the triceps. Good. And up. And other side. Good. And inhale as you raise your arms up. 
exhale as you lower them, and inhale, and hold it, palms facing upward, really reach with your left hand, gently pull your head to the side so that the ear falls to the shoulder, stretching the neck. Good, another side. Inhale as you raise your arms. Exhale as you lower them. And good job. You guys did great. Yeah. Woo. That was a hard one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome to lower body and abdominals. For those of you who are new to working out, you're going to want to take it easy, do only what's comfortable, no, probably between three and five repetitions of each, but you just want to make sure to take it easy. We're going to start by working our abdominals, roll onto your side, and then lay flat on your back. The knees are bent, and the feet are flat on the ground. Your hands come behind the head for support. The pelvis is tucked under, the abdominals are lifted, the chest is high, shoulders are back and relaxed. We're going to begin by doing a two count sit up. Ready and lift. Two, lower, two. Good. Two, two, good. Exhale as you come up. Inhale on the way down. It's a small controlled movement. Doesn't have to be too big. Good. Keep the head and the neck relaxed. Think about bringing the abdominals, the muscles between the breastbone and the pelvis bone. You want to just scrunch these together. Stretch it out, arms come over the head, legs in opposite direction, feel the stretch. Good. Okay, and bend the knees, feet flat on the ground, hands behind the head. We're gonna do 30 more, lifting in single counts. Ready, and lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, keep the chin off the chest. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you go down. Good. Abs are pulled in. Chest is high. Shoulders back and relaxed. Relax the neck and the head. The hands are only there for support. You're really working those stomach muscles. I want to just feel the crunch. Good. How you doing, Barbara? And stretch it out. Okay, now bend the knees. Right leg comes on top of the left knee, crossing over. The right hand reaches out and gently grabs the right leg for support. The left hand comes behind the head. We're going to cross over, bringing our left shoulder towards our right knee. 
ready, and lift and lower. Good. We're working our obliques. This will give us a great waistline. And down. Lift and down. Lift and down. You want to make sure that your elbow's out to the side. Common problem, people tend to bring the elbow in. Elbow goes to the side. Think about bringing that shoulder towards the knee. Down. Feel it? Exhale on the way up. Inhale down. Good. And 30 and down. Good job. Other side. The left hand holds the left leg for support. The right hand goes behind the head. Ready and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Elbow out to the side. Exhale as you come up. How you guys doing?
one and hold it. Now bend the knee, keeping the foot flexed. We're going to press our foot up towards the sky and press. Two, three, four. Good. Small controlled movement. Good. Exhale as the foot comes up. Three, two, one. And hold it. Sit back on that leg. Stretch it out. <sighs> and other side. Extend the left leg out. Foot is flexed, toe is pointed inwards. And lift and lower, lift and lower. Good. Perfect, Andre. Good, Zeke. That looks great. Good, Barbara. towards the chest, the hips are forward, straighten the top leg, flexing the foot, ready, and lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, good, and lower. keeping the foot flexed, toe pointed downward, hips forward, exhale as you come up. Hold it, little 
lifts for 20 and lift. Two, three, four, good. I feel this one. Four, three, two, one, and hold it. Bend the knee and press. Two, three, four, good. Exhale as you press your foot. Keep those hips forward. Four, three, two, one, and bring it down. You guys did great. <laughs> okay, lie back down. Bring that knee into your chest. <laughs> Stretch it out. Okay, now let's roll onto our side, pushing ourselves into a sitting position. Good, the legs come straight out in front of us. Proper body position, the abs are pulled in, chest is high, shoulders are back and relaxed. Inhale as we raise our arms. Exhale as we lower them. And again, inhale. And press the palms up towards the sky. Good. And we're going to bring the hands down and forward as we bow our back. Good. Now with the left hand, pull the right arm across your body at the elbow. Feeling the stretch. Down on the shoulder. Good. And inhale as you raise your arms. Exhale as you lower them. Again, inhale. And hold it and press the palms upward. Bring the arms out in front of you as you bow the back. With your right hand, pull the left arm across your body at the elbow. Good. Gently pull down on the shoulder. Inhale as you raise your arms above the head. Exhale as you lower them. One more time. Inhale. Exhale as you lower them. Now grab the right leg underneath the knee. Pull it across the left leg. Good. You're going to twist at the waist. Looking over your right shoulder. Feeling the stretch. Take your left leg, cross it over your right leg, twist in the opposite direction, twisting at the waist, looking over that shoulder, feeling the stretch. Good. Now back to center, legs out in front of you. Inhale as you raise your arms. Exhale as you lower them. Inhale and lower them. And good job, you completed right. the workout. Yeah. You guys did great. Yeah. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. Cool. Cool. Last one in front of me. Congratulations if you made it all the way through, and if you didn't, don't be discouraged. This exercise can be broken up into segments, and you can do a bit at a time, and gradually work your way up to doing it all the way through. I mean, you should have seen me the first time I did this exercise all the way straight through. It's, um, it's a good exercise, and I know that you can all enjoy it and have fun with it. I'm here with Tim Green, and with all of you people who've been exercising with me, as well as a couple of people from the pool. Um, they're here to ask us some questions. Great. So, who would like to start? Yeah, Karen. I have a question for you, Kathy. Um, as we get stronger and a little more comfortable with your routine, what can we do to modify it to make it a little more challenging? Um, for a bit more of a challenge, you can increase the intensity of the workout. You can use your arms more. You can also increase the repetitions and increase the number of times that, that you do the, the workout. Okay, so increase the reps. Increase the reps. I, Charlie. 
First of all, Kathy, I have to tell you, I cannot believe I got through all these exercises. I mean, I never incorporate an aerobic workout with my regular workout because I just can't seem to find the stamina. And not only that, but it's kind of embarrassing because I don't really have that coordination that everyone else seems to have in these classes. And I feel like I'm in the way and just look bad. And, you know, I've had a couple of bad experiences with that. Uh, what can I do about that and, you know, to, to keep the stamina like I did with you? I mean, what, um, what can I do? Charlie, you did great. I mean, I know that, really that you, this is new for you, and, um, and I have to say aerobics is something that I've never been able to do. In fact, I was once kicked out of a class for just being all over the place and <laughs> disrupting. <laughs> but um, you've done great. Um, what helped me was working with Tim. He's a wonderful teacher, and the things that he was able to teach me that I was able to teach you, I think, have been really helpful. Um, take it slowly. Do as much as you can. If the arms movements are going to throw you off sync, don't worry about that. You can incorporate them later on. Just um, gradually add on, and don't feel like you have to do the whole thing at once just perfectly. Just take it at your own pace. And, and also, if I can add on to that, Charlie, um, I think that it would also be beneficial that you set up a routine, that you made the exercises consistent on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, you set a time, and that's your time to exercise. And each time, you'll see, you'll find that it'll get easier, and um, you'll be able to do more and more of the video. And you can gradually increase that way, right? Exactly. Great. Thank you both very much. Thanks. Karen. Hi. I would like to know, because of um, health problems and my weight and age, how often does someone my age exercise to the video? Oh, Karen, you've done great, and I know that this is your first time in exercising, and I'm just so proud of you for doing yeah, this. Yeah, me too. It's great. Really wonderful. Good job. <laughs> Good job. And I'd say you really need to listen to your body, and don't push it. You should also check with your, check with your physician if you're new to exercising to see how much you can take. Um, I recommend just doing a few repetitions to start, like three, five maximum of the sit-ups and the push-ups and, and all the lower body and TBC that we worked on. Um, listen to your body and gradually you can increase that. If you increase just um, 30 seconds a day, you're going be um, you're going to be at this in no time. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hi. Jeff. Hi. I was wondering if I need to do all three segments of the exercises each day or can they be broken up? You can break it up. I mean, that's a good question. To, to do all three in one day, as you guys who have all done this know, it's, it's a lot. It's a good workout. And if you don't have the time or the stamina to do it all at once, um, there's no reason why you can't divide it up. It's broken up into three segments, um, the aerobics, the TBC, and the lower body and abs. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you could do the aerobics, Tuesday, TBC. Thursday lower body, wh whatever combination you like, but it, this, this workout was really designed to be broken up if that's what you want to do. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Andre. It was a great workout. I have to say I really just loved it, had a great time. My question is, I like to lift weights also, so with trying to incorporate both workouts, how would I do that? Should I do maybe like the ab workout with the video and then do lift some weights and then do one of the second parts, or should I do it all together or should I do it before or after? Well, I basically um, think that since cardiovascular, when you're beginning an exercise program, cardiovascular exercise is, is one of the most important um, aspects of exercise, and it also helps you to become stronger in the other areas and components of fitness. I think that um, warming up first and doing a good cardiovascular workout before you um, prepare you for um, the activity, and then also if you wanted to um, actually focus in on more specific parts of your body, I think that it would be good then to go with the abdominal and lower body exercises and then finish off with um, the wonderful stretches at the end of each segment. Thank you. I have a question, Kathy. I have a hard time getting motivated sometimes. It seems easier to just sit home and eat chocolate. How did you get motivated? <laughs> um, I have troubles getting motivated sometimes, too. <laughs> I think we all do. Um, it's just human nature. It's really good if you have a friend that you can get interested in the workout, who can exercise with you and really give you encouragement. Um, for me, with my work, I have pressure to have to stay in shape. So I've got that. But what really motivates me is I love doing sports. And I find that when I do exercises like this, it makes me stronger, it gives me more endurance, and um, it just makes me feel better about myself. 
So um, if you find something like that, that can really help motivate you too. And a also, friend. <laughs> and also. <laughs> Try to find a friend. <laughs> and also, Baird, I think that the um, if you look at exercise as a part of your everyday life and how it benefits just the activities of daily living, that it will become a, a much more of a motivating factor um, to you, and it'll be easier to accomplish once you actually schedule that as a part of your day. Zeke. Um, this qu question is more for you, Tim, since you own your own studio. How qualified is Kathy as an aerobics instructor? Well, I think she's pretty qualified. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> but actually, on the more, more serious side, I, um, we, Kathy and I have worked together um, extensively for the last three months in developing this program. We've also worked in, in um, conjunction with um, Dr. Brad Frederick, um, who is a well-known doctor um, in this field of sports medicine and I think that it's real important that um, we you know we had his advice and his direction and guidance and also Kathy's certified by um, a school called Masters of Motion which is a certification school for aerobic instructors but I think more importantly that some of the qualities that go along with being a teacher is being able to motivate being able to educate and being able to teach in a non-threatening way and to share your ideas and to share um, what you feel has, ha has worked. And I think Kathy has portrayed that very well. And um, I think you've done an incredible job. And, and the gift that you're giving to all the viewers who watch this video is, um, goes without words. Yeah. <laughs> and lots of words. I think you've done a great job. You're a great teacher. Thank you. Thanks. Chad. Kathy, since uh, the very first workout with you, I guess the one thing that comes to mind over everything else with me is, uh, you got a sister that looks like you? Because <laughs> <laughs> that workout did some good wonders there, baby. <laughs> now, all kidding aside, uh, same like Andre, I lift weights. And I've never done this before. And the first time I did this, this was really a good workout. I mean, I felt it in every muscle. and. Should this take the place of weights, or this would be in addition to it? I think you could do this in addition to your weightlifting. Um, and in fact, a lot of people who lift weights and and are athletic find that that these exercises are difficult for them. It's working different muscle groups that, that they've ever worked before. Um, it it's always interesting when somebody really strong has has a difficult time with um, with some of the exercises. But I think incorporating them along with your regular weightlifting will just help you do that. It'll keep you more fit and strong and agile with all the stretching that we do. And um, I think they'll complement each other. Great. And also, just to add to that, I think that um, one of the most important things when you're starting a program or that you're into a program, sometimes you fall into a rut. Or sometimes you take for granted the exercises you're doing because you've been doing them for so long. The wonderful thing about this program is it allows you to use your own body resistance and find your, the way your body moves in space and, and um, the different contractions of the separate muscle groups. And this also will then complement when you also have added resistance on making sure that you keep and maintain the proper form in, in the exercise. Kathy, I must say thank you very much and I had a great time. And my question is, being an actress and being a dancer, sometimes I'm not able to get to class all the time, so I'm wondering which segments of the video will help me to maintain my muscle and my body weight and everything. And also, is it best to drink water or juices? Uh, those are really good questions. Um, your, your first question about which, um, which segment of the exercises is best for you, um, I, I think they're all important. They're all good. Being a dancer, the, the stretching parts of all of them are probably going to be really helpful for you because you're going to want to keep limber. Um, and just breaking them up, doing, doing them different days, working on the, you know, really concentrating on the areas that you need to work on yourself, um, focusing on those. And drinking water is very important. You've got to keep those fluids going when you're exercising like this. I can't stress that enough. Um, I, I think water is the best. If you're doing quite a long um, endurance exercise, you might want to add some calories, and you're going to want to drink some juice, get some sugar in there, too. Thank you. Thank you.
Barbara. I just want to say, Kathy, that uh, since I've been doing this workout with you, I've lost eight pounds. And I wow. yeah. yeah. And it's been a lot of fun working out with you. I've just really enjoyed it so much. And I just want to say that I'm very proud of you. Oh, I'm proud of you too, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did it. <laughs> you guys were great. Thanks. And um, I just want to say I know the exercises can seem difficult. Don't get discouraged. Have fun with it, and just just add to it. Just go at your own pace, and um, and have fun. I um, I still love my sports, and and I think I always will. But um, having done this this video and experienced these exercises, I feel stronger at the sports that I love, and I have a lot more endurance. And what I really love about the exercises is you can do them year-round. A lot of the sports that I enjoy are seasonal. These exercises, you can do them rain or shine, you can do them at home, on the road, anywhere. You can always have them with you. One of the real key things for me has been getting strong and working out after my pregnancy has given me a real sense of empowerment. And it's really increased my self-esteem. And I really feel that if I can do it, you can do it. Um, and I wish you all the best of luck. I'm pulling for you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Tim.